Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we will understand the, the derating of the transistor. We will understand what is the derating of the transistor, how do we calculate the derating of the transistor and, and how it impacts the electronic circuit design. Okay, if you use transistor somewhere in your design, how derating impacts in, in electronics design, right? So let us understand so this is the basic circuit diagram of transistor okay it is biased with vvp voltage at the base and this vcc is collector voltage okay so we have given some parameters right we have given some parameters let us say what is pd max what is pd max pd max equals to maximum power dissipation of the transistor right maximum power dissipation of the transistor which is equals to pd max equals to vce uh, collected to emitter saturated voltage of transistor into ic side right into icc so this is the pd pd max power dissipation of the transistor so let us say in your design it is given PD max equals to 1 watt at 25 degree centigrade, right? PD max equals to 1 watt at the at the 25 degree centigrade. And now you have your derating factor, which is equals to 3 milliwatt, 3 milliwatt per degree centigrade. That means if temperature rises 1 degree centigrade, the power dissipation reduced by 3 milliwatt right so this is the derating factor which is given 3 milliwatt per degree centigrade right hope you understand what is derating factor derating factor is how your power dissipation diminishes with rising the temperature okay so hope you understand what is the derating factor now now you have to calculate what is the your maximum power dissipation at 75 degree centigrade since it is saying that at 25 degree centigrade let us say this temp this transistor q1 having maximum power dissipation of 1 watt so this transistor dissipate at at the 70 degree right so these things we will analyze today so yeah the change in power dissipation pd max is given by delta pd max which is equals to derating factor multiply by change in temperature right so if you uh, subtract it 70 degree minus 25 degree you will have 45 degree that means your change in power dissipation is 135 millivolt okay if your temperature rises 25 degree centigrade to 70 degree centigrade your change in change in power dissipation is 135 milliwatt right hope you understand how it is uh, coming okay so now you have to calculate the maximum power dissipation at 70 degree so maximum power dissipation at 70 degree is given by your power dissipation at 25 degree that means 1 watt minus power dissipation change in change in power dissipation okay minus 135 milliwatt right so if you subtract it you will get 1 watt minus 135 milliwatt you will get 865 milliwatt that means that means what does it mean that means if you are driving your transistor at 70 at 70 degree centigrade your transistor can maximum dissipate 865 milliwatt of power right so this is the limitation while you design your circuit you have to consider the power dissipation or derating factor of your transistor so hope you understand what is the derating factor and how it impacts in design right now let us understand one more topic okay so here we have here we have power dissipation is 500 milliwatt you can see and collector to emitter voltage vce from here to here collector to emitter voltage is given by 10 volt 
so how how maximum collector current can flow through this transistor q1 so this is you have to calculate you have to understand and then you have to calculate okay in your design okay so you have got your power maximum power dissipation you have got the voltage across collector to your meter then now you have to find out what is the maximum collector current can flow through this transistor right hope you understand what i am trying to say now the collector current is given by pd max divided by vce right so you have pd max is 500 millivolt and vce equals to 10 volt so your maximum collector collector current that can flow through this transistor is 50 milliampere okay so you have calculated your collector current based on based on your transistor power dissipation okay ic equals to pd max divided by vc now i have one assignment for you so what is assignment so you have got you have given the power dissipation equals to 3 watt your IC equals to 50 milliampere. Then now you have to find out what is your VCE collector to emitter voltage. So hope you solve this numerical and write your answer in the comment section, right? Okay. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in comment section.